Let's convert my traditional pipe gun to the top of the line roller muzzle equipped with smooth ceramic bearings. We're even tested out in the waters of Kauai since we're gonna have none other than Uncle Learn You How do the conversion for us. So let's dive in. The first step was popping off the muzzle and now we're gonna fill it with foam. So two part foam. There are three reasons why we put foam inside a pipe gun. The first is that it prevents water from entering the pipe, which will throw off the ballasting. The second is that it provides sound dampening so that it doesn't spook the fish when you bump rocks. And third is that it adds a bit of mass to help with the recoil. So we gotta get it in there. While we wait for this foam to expand, please hit that like button. Oh yeah, it's definitely warm, yeah. And the foam is solid. Yeah. So here Brian adds a little marine grease to a PVC pipe to compress the foam. Nice and flat. Oh, that's perfect. Right? So your foam goes in. Feel it. Dense. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. Right? So so here's here's how much foam we have. Right. Right? Which is like a little over it's like two and a quarter. Mm -hmm. And the muzzle depth is like two inches. Right? That's perfect. Inside the barrel. Increase the O-ring. You don't want to damage your O-rings. Here, Brian uses the right adapter for my barrel's internal diameter. Perfect fit. If you're finding this video helpful so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now that the muzzle is pressed in, we have to make sure it's perfectly aligned and then fasten it with a screw. Use the pre-existing hole. Beefy is better in the way of stainless, because stainless is fragile, right? So your kit comes with that same screw already. I would put a piece of blue tape and then I would mark back where I want, you know, so I'll get like a straight edge so I know like where the center of the barrel is. Mm -hmm. And then I'll mark that, and then I'll mark it like an X. So I know exactly where I want my screw. And then you have to be really careful because you have to make sure that your track is lined up, right? So one of the tricks for that is you get a shaft and you make sure that where it sits in the track is in the center of the muzzle. Right, because that'll that'll show you if it's spun at all. Right. right. So ideally, you get a shaft that's that's long enough to put into the neck. So one of the things you can do when you get it centered. So this is a this is a good trick that not a lot of people do. Right, and then we we'll flip it over. holding it from spinning, right? right? So hold this so it just can't rotate. Okay, so you make sure you're all the way flush. Here we go. So now, yep, so that's it. So as long as we get into the spigot, we're done. Grease, so when I put my screws in, so it keeps it from corroding. Okay. And we're right where we need to be. Now that we have the muzzle attached, it's time to add the anchor points for the bands. If you're interested in learning how to make bands, make sure you let me know in the comments and I'll make a separate video. So this is your wishbone. This is your loop loader. That's so you can pull it off the muzzle. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna need two pieces of blue tape. Make sure that you're seated where it wants to be, right? On the roller, everything's even. And these are, these are not under tension. Okay, so that's where they lay on the barrel. So you want a piece of tape that marks right where your constrictor line is because you have no stretch 
this point forward. That's 13 inches of pretension right there. Right, and you make sure your knot is very tight. Burn this so it doesn't fray. Okay, so that would be like that on two sides. But because we have all this extra line, and until we know exactly how much line we need, we're gonna leave that tail. So when you take your bands off and put them back on, you make a U, right? And the U is always this side, and then you come through the hole. And that's a sheet bend knot. And then when you pull this tight, and then when you wanna take it out, you just pull back on this tail, and this feeds itself right back out. So now, we're gonna go, Wrap this around. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this down to this point okay. and I want you to feed that. Okay. Alright. Zeroed. Forty-one pounds at the most. Forty pounds. So that means when you load it, it's going to be double that. If you find that you want more power, or like you're like, oh, I could load it easier. You're gonna, and even after the first three dives, these rubbers will elongate a bit. Mm -hmm. So you can always shorten the pretension line, and you can even do it in the water. Like this way is kind of hard because you have to twist it. So what you would do is you would just make one cord shorter and then retie the knot like we just did when we marked it. Mm -hmm. Retie your knot first, tie your backup knot, pull it tight, cut the excess, burn it. So this line, what it is now, later, you know, depending upon how it goes for you, you may end up with your rubbers being here, mm. somewhere down the road. Whenever I build these, I always see what it is at the muzzle. So. Technically, you know, you never use a roller, you never use this rubber. So we're gonna see how it feels for you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And if you say, okay, I wanna power it up to 45 pounds at the muzzle, or even 50 pounds at the muzzle, but granted, you know, for you to pull it, it's gonna take 50 pounds of force just to get it started. Right. Right, so so that means when you load it, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna have to put on your hip to start, and this requires 40 pounds of force. Look at what we just built today. Got a Manny Sub roller, ceramic bearings. Actually, check this out. Oh yeah. Uh, my 105 Meandros, we filled it with foam. Got a new shaft. Put some new, better, stiff Dyneema line on this. No more mono. Tired of that mono game. Double wrap. This thing is fire. So before I started shooting animals, I decided to go into Brian's backyard and practice shooting it at some targets. And once I got dialed in, it was time to go for a dive.